Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting from Henderson Executive Airport near Las Vegas, where a few weeks ago we saw all of the newest aircraft, like this uh, Gulfstream G500. But honestly, the star of the show was more than 50 years old. Behind me is the uh, Howard 500 aircraft. Back in 1957, D. Howard and Ed Swenger were offered a project from a wealthy Mexican businessman. Find me an aircraft that can fly Mexico City to New York City nonstop with my family and business associates. Can you do it? The Howard 500 was born. An aircraft that can fly 300 knots, an airplane that has a range of almost 2,500 nautical miles, an aircraft that has an altitude capability of almost 28,000 feet, certified in 1960, arguably one of the first business aircraft ever built. The aircraft uh, was based in Austria and about five years ago flew back from Austria, was totally restored uh, to this configuration about six months ago. The restoration project took about four years. The owner of the aircraft is a collector. He owns the only two 500s flying in the world today. They made 17 Howard 500s from 1960 to 1963. The age of the turbine surpassed the age of the piston. And the Howard 500 is the last of the large piston-powered aircrafts ever to be built. The aircraft has a prayer, pair of Pratt & Whitney 2800 uh, engines, 18 cylinders per side. The engines have air research superchargers capable of propelling the aircraft up to 28,000 feet.